KHO and two weather, Kamaka Pili. With this heat and humidity, this is the perfect thing you want to do. Jump in the ocean. Thank you to Maurice for sending and sharing this image with us. Now, what we're experiencing tomorrow, another hot and humid day. The rains threat will remain high, particularly for Kauai and Ni'ihau. For the rest of the state, that threat starts to diminish. Today was a hot day with record-breaking temperatures coming in actually from the east end of the state where it didn't have much shower activity. 94 degrees for Kahului Maui. That's breaking 91 from 2015. And Hilo has another one coming in 90 degrees from the same year breaking one degree less now looking at the future winds this is what we're going to be seeing so this isn't actually an unfortunate imagery <laughs> because for the west end of the state these southerly winds will continue because of that storm system that's bringing a lot of these potential heavy showers for Kauai now as you see the numbers they also remain mainly in the single digits if they're double they're in the low double digits and they're going to remain light and variable at least for for this, I'm not gonna lie, for this whole extended forecast, this first half of the week, what's gonna be taking place is this cold front will be lifting. So what we're gonna start to see is a slight shift to our east and southeasterly winds. That will be mainly for the east end of the state with a lot of residuals from this storm system, a lot of moisture that continues to linger that could keep up the winds to be more in a southerly, southeasterly flow for the west end in particular. In terms of the moisture, what we're seeing for tomorrow is a similar day to what we've seen today. Kauai is actually getting a break from that heavy downshore uh, down downpours, but they've definitely seen that today along with some thunderstorm activity. The Moisture only looks really to be for Kauai and Ni'ihau. Some could be reaching uh, Oahu from that point on towards Hawaii Island. It looks to be scattered showers. High clouds will be lingering around, but most of it will be for the west end of the state. In terms of our, our Nalu, our waves, five to seven up north, four to six for both west and south facing shores. Three to five remain the quietest or the calmest due to the lack of our trade winds right now. So for the next two days, getting out of the weekend into the new week, rain chances remain highest for Kauai and Ni'ihau. The warm days will continue as you see light and variable winds will progress but it's Monday and Tuesday where that storm system hopefully lifts farther enough far away enough where the trade winds can be more prominent in terms of its easterly flow. As of right now they're light and variable they'll probably be more in the southeasterly flow but that's what it looks to be for the remaining of the week. High clouds will also be lingering so take a look out if you're up either early morning or evening hours. Sunset and sunrises should be beautiful. Sam, give it back to you.